Kira Commanders, and welcome to Commander Crichton's Guide to Privateering Federal Navy Meta Alloy Convoys. For this, you will need a jump capable combat ship with a frameshift wake scanner and at least two to three tons of cargo, as each convoy carries three meta alloys. Firstly, you will need to be in the Pallides sector, India Hotel Victor C2 16. That's where the current combat community goal is. Head to the D2 world. This is the one with the PRE and TII research bases. Locate a convoy beacon Shifting and approach as normal. Space. In here you will find a corvette with two F-63 condors in a wing with it and three vultures in a wing. You can cargo scan the corvette to confirm the cargo manifest if you so choose. At this point, you're probably thinking, a corvette, two F-63 condors, and three vultures? That's a bit much to ask, especially when they aren't in a conflict zone, so security forces will respond as well. Well, this is where we use our noggin and wait. Given time, the vultures will leave, pulling ahead, and then it will just be the corvette and the two escort fighters. On cue, well, maybe not on cue, the corvette will then pull away from the planet and plot a jump out of the system. The two fighters can't follow, and this is where your frameshift wake scanner comes in handy. Charge your jump. Scan the corvette's wake and follow it. Because we're out in the Pleiades nebula, everywhere around is lawless. So, whatever destination it jumps to, you can follow it, attack, and it won't be a crime. It won't get reinforcement. Upon arrival, check your scanner, and the Corvette should be there. Lock onto it, and now we play a waiting game. If you've got an interdictor, you can interdict it. Um, I didn't fit one. Slight oversight, running out of space, that kind of thing. So, you just follow it about until it drops out. It'll either do that at the star or one of the planets in the system. Downside of it going to the star is it will mean combat will get hot, but plan accordingly. Now we begin what might be called the arduous task of disabling the Corvette's power plant. Depending on the ship, this may be a quick or slow process. Took me a while. I did initially try to go for the drive and the cargo hatch, but due to the way the Corvette keeps the top mounting, or well, it's the top deck facing you, uh, neither of those are good targets, but it does provide a nice uh, shot of the power plant. So, you know, never look at gift horse in the mouse, target the power plant, and disable her. As you can see from the time elapse and the clock up in the top right hand corner, uh, this has taken about 40 minutes to disable this thing. Um, but I am in a sidewinder, so, you know, them's the brakes. Once the Corvette is disabled with its power plant at 0%, you can then, at your leisure, target the cargo hatch, uh, get to the right side of the ship, of course, target the cargo hatch, pop the cargo, and the meta alloys will be yours. Target dropped. As noted earlier, the Corvette will have three tons of meta alloys plus battle weapons and reactive armor on board. However, the thing to note is because you're stealing them, um, you will only be able to sell them if that's what you're doing. 
to a black market and not on the regular commodities market, be it the meta alloys, the reactor farmer, or the battle weapons. Just something to consider. It would also mean if you're heading back into civilized space with the meta alloys, remember, you'll be carrying stolen goods. So expect interdictions um, as I simply jumped to Maya and immediately got interdicted by someone wanting my cargo. But that's, you know, what you expect when you're carrying meta alloys which you can no longer just buy as easily and the barnacles seem to be quite uh, thin on the ground on extracting them there. And there we go. A way of getting meta alloys from the federal convoys, reducing your enemy down to one ship by waiting for it to jump out to a different system, and engaging where it is outside any jurisdiction, so there is no consequence to attacking, so you don't need to deal with security forces jumping in and interrupting you. I hope this is helpful, and good luck everyone!